Ladies and gentlemen, then attend her. Anyway, um, what we have here is the uh, E3 from 2012 where they showed off the Wii U. And they're like, uh, hey, check it out. He's changing to the fucking whatever the fuck. And then he picks up the controller and he's like, yep. And uh, let's just say uh, that the new controller, um, there was supposed to be the 3DS uh, control sticks. As you can see here, they're the ones that are, you know, all inset and they're supposed to like have like, you know, like sort of like a magnetic almost feeling like uh, it's sort of magnetic, I guess, like, you know, out to the sides. You see what I'm yeah, saying? It's all sliding on a flat, flat earth theory plane. Yeah. And it feels good because, you know, it. I assume it, it gets like, you know, more pressurized out to the side a little bit. So there's like, you know, a, a, it's, it, it's like the equivalency of a control stick where, you know, it like... Yeah. But in reverse, like, you know, you have pressure to each side, so you have accurate movements. And the resistance of the pressure lets you know how much to push. Exactly. And so, like, this controller, where did it go? Why did what we get is... Why did we get control sticks this tall when instead we should have had these flat like you know resistor control sticks that not only um like are more precise in my opinion but also like why the hell and more importantly uh what was I gonna say um And why the hell is this program not included? My friend Crowley, uh, Crowley Crow on YouTube, uh, I assume. I think, I don't know, unless he was something other name and I don't remember. Anyways, I haven't looked it up in a while. Uh, he wanted that drawing application you just saw here. Didn't come out for anyone, supposedly. Yeah, so uh, you know, you know that would have been fun for him because he likes to draw and does commissions and stuff. Anyway, um, th th that's boring. Uh, I don't even... Which game is this? Did this game come out? It's actually aiming at your TV accurately. Well, yeah. There was supposed to be a bunch of TV games that would use the back and forth of everything between the TV and the screen to have interactivity and show something different and, uh, you know, enhance the experience. But, like, I wonder, are you actually aiming exactly accurately at the right window compared to what you're looking at I wonder if it's lined up I think it looks, seems to be well it seems to be but that's because you're using the Wii Remote and Nunchuck so it just uses a basis of where the screen would be from the base of the Wii Remote yeah and then it just says that's where you pointed it at to begin with and it stays yeah but I mean with that. there's gyrometers in the screen itself too so it is much more accurate yeah. Because it's actually detecting the screen's presence itself exactly. combined with the remote. So uh, that's actually, you know, an impressive thing. And I, I thought I would see a shitload of shooters using this on the Wii U. I thought that this would be, like, the best thing for Call of Duty humanly possible. But no Call of Duties were released with this. No Call of Duties were released on the Wii U with, um, with even motion controls. It makes no sense. How are people not outraged? Why haven't you complained? Well, here's what I have to say. Um, 
in order for everybody to still feel like we're going to get use out of the Wii U and that doesn't feel like a, an older generation, when the new Nintendo console comes out, hopefully called Nintendo Project, um, like, the Wii U needs to screen pair and console pair with it, probably. Yeah, from the ground up to from try to get up. more Bluetooth in the area processing, because the Wii U uses this screen for certain games yeah. and actually processes with it for a little additional power yet still. I argued for, and maybe they could still do this, release new Wii U screen controllers that have chip inputs for, like, 3DS games or whatever. Yeah. For additional processing or for just playing the 3DS game. I completely agree. I keep repeating that they should pair. It's just, it's really simple yeah. to... They keep releasing versions of all these different things. Well, they're going to release a version of the, at least of the Wii U screen controller that will connect to the Wii U that is a Switch that will have, you know, compatibility and, you know, the ability to play also 3DS games. We're going to get all of these generations of Nintendo consoles and screen controllers... To all work together. They need to all work together. And the reason why is because if everybody has a different generation, somebody has a Switch, somebody has an old 3DS, well, somebody has a new a 3DS, whatever. My point is the same. That the all Wii remotes need to work on the Switch. Of course. that's I'm, I'm repeating that too. But <laughs> that all of these should be useful as a wireless paired-in controller for the Wii U for even a new Nintendo console, they should always be able, with a simple update, to be paired so that you can use them as a wireless controller in your preferred accustomed-to format. And then you get people more accustomed to the larger games through their smaller systems that they're used to using. Their control scheme, you know what I mean? Yeah. And they all have gyrometers. The, the the fucking these controllers on the Switch have gyrometers in them that are attached to the screen. So it's identical to a screen controller for yeah. the Wii U in a most ways. So I'm arguing for the, the 3DS Nintendo. has yeah. cameras, so it's yeah. actually exactly identical to a Wii U controller. Yeah, and they said that there was going to be 3DS usability as a screen controller for your Wii U. They said there was going to be. And we're still waiting. We just have to get the geeks to, you know, build a new Nintendo headquarters so they can hide in there and, you know, live in their saunas and get ready to... And masturbate out. to Peach and Daisy porn. Yeah, exactly. Anyways, um... The <laughs> gotta stay motivated. What? what? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, um... The, the point here is that... What we're trying to achieve is everything that was always being promised by every company actually being delivered. Yeah, like, the Nintendo new console, I'm arguing for it to be like a 40X smells box and projector. Yeah. And that's the console, you know? And then it can pair with the Wii U, pair with this and that, so that everything, you know, helps each other render the games and looks fabulous. And has tons of options of how to play the games, you know, based on how the games need to be played, based on what the actual um, programmer wants the experience to be like, you know? Yeah, there's already a good example of Nintendo games enough on the Wii U, like, you know, even this example we're staring at right here, of a great implementation. There should have been so many of the newer arcade shooters ported to the Wii U. There should have been so many because of this controller setup. Never would have been more precise. Anything, every single arcade shooter would never run better than on this, with this setup. Because yes. you can see exactly what you're doing up close and personal and on the screen. You got motion controls out the ass. And I'm arguing there can be, you know, okay, theaters, Super Pets video game, I uh, was saying that it's built so that before you watch the movie, you can um, play the game at the theater. Well, I'm saying this could be for arcades or theaters, this type of setup 
three, four movies, you know, you can play a little bit of video games. That's the type of games we need coming out. They can yeah. be attached to movies. They can just be fun things that people are making separate from any larger franchise, too. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> yeah, it's a game that, you know... What it does is it tests um, the ability for the game to scroll forward while uh, it's like a, a proof of concept that a game works, like I was saying. So, so the environment, like I was saying with the first movie, works perfectly because they're not moving. The environment's moving. Yeah. That's what's going on here. That's it's like a Star Fox style movement system. So it's a video game. I didn't think they'd actually build the video game just to prove to themselves, like I said they should. But I guess they did. That it works. It's funny because he's you know immune to damage, but takes more pain. So he goes psychologically insane in the video game, and you know can't continue. Yeah, exactly. So um. <laughs> Back to the Wii U. Uh, I'm still demanding. I don't know why everybody universally accepts that Nintendo says something when, for example, Activision has in the past, and any company could at any time, including Ubisoft, like it has uh, many times, host its own servers for any, any game that it's, you know, currently wants to. You see what I'm saying? Any company. You put in the game, you connect to their servers. Yes. So, why don't you release? Because it would be super exciting for me and many other people to get to use their Wii U. All of the Call of Duties in like a, a pack for one low price for the Wii U. So that that way people can catch up and like play all the Call of Duties they want to with the motion controls that are newer and more precise. And like, you know, use the screen controller set up here and just, you know, actually implement it correctly. It's a fun experiment. Yeah, you can assassinate Lincoln and stuff. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's, uh, that's, uh, the, I, I thought you were going to say Kennedy. Yeah, I, I decided Lincoln was better though. It's like I, I thought of Kennedy as you said Lincoln, though. That's why I said, oh, Jesus. That means I'm fucked up. Yeah. No, I chose, you know, I mean, yeah, it, it's an obvious choice because, you know, like shooter, sniper, but, you know. I didn't have one other person that had a Wii U to uh, FaceTime with, not once. Yeah. I'm so sad. That doesn't even make sense. No, Stefan never got a, a Wii U, even though he could have in a, like a well, many different points. What I'm saying is, it's funny because like anyone who had a Wii U, you never wanted to actually FaceTime with them because you talk to a bunch of different people. But yeah, you aren't that close. You know, you don't want to stare at their ugly face. Exactly. <clears throat> uh, so like, see this bird here. Um, this was never enabled. That never happened. That never happened, and there's no reason because it has software support that you couldn't. Yeah. Uh, there's no reason why this right here, uh, is, like, Miyamoto, like, you know, the whatever. Th there was never this browsing. You could never browse the internet on the Wii U, could you? There's no internet no. browser. Even the Wii had one that quickly got out of date, but... This would stay in date and only need a few updates for most websites. It's true, yeah. So that never happened, and that's kind of disgusting. And yeah. and Twilight Princess too. I just assume this has been worked on for so long that yeah. that you know. Come into your living room in 2024. Yeah. That's what I always felt like. <laughs> I was like, Twilight Princess is never, too, is never coming in 2012. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Even, and it shows Link. It's so dishonest in the Wii U symbol. Like, he's going to be there. He's going to arrive any day. On the Wii U. Totally. 
that's the way they sold it's it. It's totally not going to be two consoles later. Yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, like as if the it, they're struggling to contain the Zelda's power, like you just saw there, yes. within the, the little bubble snap of the Wii U. Then it's not Twilight Princess 2. All I know is, I think the reason the game is delayed is nobody wants a game that looks that good coming out where... Christian cultists in North America remove the porn from it. Dude, I love I love <laughs> me some family friendly Nintendo porn. No matter yeah, how hardcore it is, because I say so, it's always family friendly. Okay. Yeah, everybody's on board with that. If it's Nintendo, it's family friendly. You know how that works. I like the bigger veins. They make me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, that's all I had to say.